This Sunday, October 29th, the acts of violence erupted all over Russia in the region of North Caucasus. 118 years later, Jewish pogroms have returned to Russia. In this video, I'd like to tell you what exactly happened and why I think this is the beginning of the end for Russia as we know it. On Sunday night, thousands of Dagestanians gathered at Mahachkala International Airport with virtually zero resistance from the local law enforcement. Allah Akbar! The crowd spilled onto the runway. They were manhunting the Jewish that were on the board of a plane that had just landed from Tel Aviv. The acts of violence followed. The result, one person dead, a few dozen hurt and injured. But what happened at Mahachkala's airport on Sunday night was just the tip of the iceberg, the climax, so to speak. The violence started the previous day, October 28th, at Dagestanian city of Hasavurt. Local residents staged a rally at the Flamingo Hotel a few hours after online reports of Israeli refugees allegedly settling there appeared. The crowd demanded that the guests would come to the windows to be checked. The police officers who arrived at the scene allowed several participants of the rally to enter the hotel to make sure that there were no Israeli citizens there. Please check this video. After it was done, the crowd dispersed. Later on the 28th, a spontaneous anti-Israel rally was held at Lenin Square in the city of Machachkala. No acts of violence, just, you know, people demanding Jews to vacate Dagestan. All peaceful, you know. An uncoordinated anti-Israel rally was also held at the city of Cherkesk, the capital of Karachayeva Cherkesia, on the same day. About 200 people participated in the action. The participants demanded to prevent Israeli refugees from entering the regions, as well as to evict Jews. The representative of the authorities came to communicate with, um, I don't really know how to call this people, I'd call them the protesters for now. So the officials were trying to convince the crowd that there were no grounds for evictions whatsoever. In Nalchik, the capital of kabardina balkaria province, right next door to Dagestan, in the morning of October 29th, unknown persons set the Jewish cultural center under construction on fire. Burning tires were thrown into that territory and death to Yehudas was written on the wall. Yehuda is Jewish in Arabic. And the grand event of that black weekend happened on Sunday, the 29th, at the international airport of Mahachkala. Thousands of people gathered at the airport on the news that there was a plane en route from Tel Aviv to Mahachkala, full of Jewish people that would be trying to settle in Dagestan. Instead of telling you what happened, I will show what was filmed by these people participating at, uh, you know, this 
Action at Mahachkala Airport late on Sunday. The following is the footage from the inside of the pogroms. Даже ОМОНовские машины проверяем. Иншалла найдем его. Проверяем машины, останавливаем паспорта, документы. Одну проверили, это вторая пустая. Ждем, короче, приезда. Есть, есть другая сторона тоже, братья. Какой джамат, короче.
Уважаемые дамы и господа, говорит командир, пожалуйста, сохраняйте свои места и не пытайтесь открыть двери самолета. На улице разъяренная толпа, которая не знает, откуда мы прибыли и зачем. Вполне возможно, мы тоже попадем под раздачу. Пожалуйста, оставайтесь на своих местах в самолете и выполняйте все указания бортпроводников. Благодарю за внимание. Вот эти вот приземлились. На борт, быстро все на борт. На борт, быстро все на борт. Проверили, проверили, One video is better than thousands of words. And you just watched a few videos, and now you can make your own opinion of this event. The following day, the reaction of Russian propaganda and Russian society followed. Next, I'd like to give you an understanding of this reaction. I'll be quoting different Telegram channels, the publics, WhatsApp groups, uh, publications, etc. Everything that consists of Russia's informational space. Now, I'll be quoting um, the officials and... Z people, Z telegram channel, an attempt of a Jewish pogrom happened in Dagestan. Muslims broke into the airport looking for Jews from Israel. They say that these riots are not organized by Hamas, but by Tsipso, that's Ukrainian military informational department. In fact, 
It is the Jew Zelensky who organized Jewish pogroms in Dagestan. Zelensky's goal is to spoil the relations between Russia and Israel as much as possible and thereby ensure that the United States allocate $100 billion support for weapons not only to Israel but also to Ukraine. It sure is surreal that they're saying that. To spoil the relationship between Russia and Israel? How can they be spoiled? Hamas was invited to the Kremlin four times in the recent years, months, and Russia is the only country that officially invited Hamas to visit after the October 7th. It's Russia itself that destroyed the relations. Moving on, I quote Russia's parliament senator Alexander Yakubovsky. What is happening in, the, in Dagestan right now is certainly provoked by foreign intelligence services and by Tsipso. Moving on, quoting another Telegram channel. On the example of Dagestan, today we saw that when a crowd of rough-looking determined men comes out in the streets, the security forces Siloviki immediately evaporate. This is very different from punching intellectuals in glasses, you know. And it's also become clear that if some trouble starts in Russia, just like in Perestroika, the troubles start from the nation's outskirts. Next, I quote Russian official, the head of RT, Margarita Simonyan, in Hasavurt. A hotel was raided yesterday because of Tsipso Telegram channel. It said that Israeli, uh, Israel refugees are there. Obviously, it seemed to be an atrocious lie. Why would Israeli refugees live in a hotel in Hasavurt? Nevertheless, everything worked out. But what happens tomorrow? Moving on, I quote Russian TV. Riots in Dagestan have become one of the main topics of leading Arab TV channels. They have. But not only leading Arab channels, but TV channels all over the world learned and showed the real face of anti-Semitism in Russia. I'm moving on. According to the official information from Dagestan police, two police officers were injured during the clashes at Dagestan airport. They received head injuries from stones flying from the raging crowd. I'm moving on. A little different news came from uh, Ministry of Health of Dagestan province. As a result of mass riots at Mahachkala airport, there are victims among police, officers, and civilians. Two people are now in extremely serious conditions. Well, Ministry of Health of Dagestan, thank you for the truth. Moving on. Another Telegram channel. According to Dagestani policemen, the total number of arrivals at Mahachkala airport during the riots was about 2,000 people. The government of Dagestan has made a number of statements about the consequences of riots at the Mahachkala airport. They call them riots. I call them pogroms. That's what they are. So those statements are the work of the Mahachkala airport will be restored in the coming days after the restoration measures. The necessary medical assistance is provided for the victims of the riot. The situation at the airport is under the complete control of the authorities at all levels. And security measures have been strengthened in cities and districts of the Dagestan province. Attempts to accuse the Russian authorities of attempting anti this anti-Jewish pogrom in Mahachkala are completely unfounded. Anti-Israeli demonstrations are taking place all over the world, in all countries. And the more Muslims there are, the more massive these demonstrations and the greater the threat of excessive violence. So Mahachkala just got on par with Paris, London, Berlin. The people in Mahachkala were really more childishly naive and more inclined to be led by direct action actions. It is necessary to learn more colorful and harmless demonstrations in Mahachkala such as in Paris and London with songs and dances with flags. The Russian authorities do not have anti-Semitism just as the authorities of France and Britain do not have it. This was the official statement of Dagestanian government. Childishly naive, you say? Please watch this childishly naive once more.
I quote the head of the region, the governor Sergei Melikov. Attempts to destabilize the situation in the Republic of Dagestan are being made from abroad, including the pro-Ukrainian telegram channels. Moving on to another Z telegram channel. <laughs> this is a good one. The Russian state has passed the exam of anti-Semitism with flying colors. All participants of the anti-Jewish riot were forced out of Mahachkala airport. The security forces have taken control of the situation. Not a single Jew was killed in the riots. All is well and good. Now, this was perhaps the craziest explanation of this phrase, all is well and good. Not a single Jew was killed by the rioters. All is well and good. Well, tell it to the families of the policemen who died later. Tell them all was, all was well and good. Tell that everything was all was well and good to the families of those who have been injured. Tell it to the people who were inside that airplane barricaded. Tell them all is well and good. You know, I'll see, I'll see what the reaction will be. Well, let me move on. Vladimir Putin reacted to the pogroms at Mahachkala airport almost 24 hours after they happened. He will hold a big meeting to discuss attempts by the West to use events in the Middle East to split Russian society. That's what Dmitry Peskov, his press secretary, the translator from Russian to Russian, later said. Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin, speakers of both chambers of the Russian parliament, the heads of power bloc Siloviki, the prosecutor general, the attorney general, the head of state police, the security of uh, uh, the head of the security council, the heads of FSB, SVR, defense ministry, interior ministry, and the Rosguardia, you know, as well as the minister of foreign affairs, were invited to the meeting with Vladimir Putin. And um, at the end, I will make two more quotes. The first is. I'll quote Mufti, that's the head Muslim priest of Tatarstan. That's a large and very powerful province where population is mostly Muslim. I quote the Mufti. It is obvious that the pogroms in Dagestan were organized by outside forces, although, of course, provoked by Israel. IDF, that's Israel Army, under the leadership of the Zionists, fighting with babies and children, is doing everything to raise a wave of anti-Semitism in this world. The case in Dagestan is also pure provocation used by the Western Special Forces. Given these circumstances, I urge, if possible, to show leniency to those who fell for this provocation. And now, this is what Vladimir Putin himself had to say. I quote, we must understand who is organizing the deadly chaos. The organizers act openly and brazenly. It's the United States and its satellites that are the main beneficiaries of instability that profit from this bloody rent. The U.S. is weakening economically, but it doesn't want to put up with that. It is necessary to understand what the root of the civil is. We're the spider which is trying to entangle the whole world in its own web, uses fooled people on the territory of Ukraine. The events in Omahachkala were inspired through the social networks, including from the territory of Ukraine, with help of Western special services. In Ukraine, under the leadership of the Western patrons, they are trying to inspire pogroms in Russia. I'm not sure that the people in the USA even know about it. It would be nice for them to investigate what their special services are doing in Ukraine. The scum. I unquote Vladimir Putin. Everything I've heard in the two days that have followed um, is pretty much close to what you just have heard. Thousands of words have been said by Z people and Russian government officials, including Russia's president, to minimize the negative effects of the pogroms. They are selling Russia as the victim here. The enemies of Russia came to Dagestan and forced poor peaceful Dagestanian boys to do what they did. Those poor local boys, they were under total control of the enemies from, well, uh, 
from we don't know who and where, uh, but uh, from America, because all evil satanic stuff comes from America just, just because. And of course, from Ukraine. Oh, don't forget about Ukraine. Zelensky obviously organized this because he is Jew and he hates Jews. Those peaceful Dagestanian boys at the airport? No, they would never do anything like that. They're too peaceful. It is the work of the enemies. And this message seems to be working. Russian officials aren't trying to stop growing anti-Semitism in Russia. They are actually fueling it. The first reports have started coming in of the convictions of the airport rioters. According to some reports, there were about 3,500 people rioting doing pogroms at the airport. Around 160 were arrested by the, local, uh, by the local law enforcement at the end. Not a single felony so far. All are misdemeanors with sentences of a couple days under arrest or minor fines. It's letting the criminals walk free. It's anti-Semitism fueling. You know, folks, I had thought that the anger will rise from deep inside the people of Russia toward Russian government. I made a mistake. The anger turning into hate is rising. But it's rising towards the ones who differ. Today it's the Jews. Tomorrow it could be gays. Then it could be other religions or races or anything. This is a very dangerous path Russian society has chosen. It leads to darkness. Hey, Russia is not the first on its path. Others have been there and done that. And it always ends bad. The craziest phrase I've heard in the last couple of days is the Russian state has passed the exam of anti-Semitism with flying colors. Actually, Russian people have failed this exam. They have failed miserably. They just want to believe they passed it. And that's how they keep on lying to themselves. Some people, I heard them saying, oh, that was just a freak of an accident. Won't happen again, so there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? Again, tell it to the police officer in Mahachkala who is dead. Tell it to the family of that police officer. Tell it to the people who were locked up in that um, plane landed from Tel Aviv. Terrified, praying for their lives. Tell it to them. Tell it to dozens of wounded and hurt and their families. Tell that everything is fine. Tell them there is nothing to worry about. And I would like to see their response. They think it's over? Far from it. That was just the beginning. Food deliverers in Mahachkala started asking arriving tourists if they were Jewish. People who arrived on flights from Moscow to Mahachkala. Th that's a completely different flight. It's a domestic flight. They reported, I quote, We ordered food. A delivery guy came to the hotel and asked to see our passports to find out that we were not Jewish, not from Israel. We were very scared there. There was whistling outside the windows. A food delivery man. Today, November 1st, this was filmed on the streets of Moscow. Check it out. Ну почему? То есть их нужно выселять сейчас всех евреев из России? Всех. Это всех? Как, как? Как технически это сделать? Можете совет дать? Я не знаю, я не шарю в этой истории, типа, поэтому не могу подсказать. Что вам лично сделали евреи? Что мне сделали лично? По телевизору посмотрите вообще. Я знаю, что они сделали, но не хочу об этом говорить. В Москве погромы могут начаться, как вы думаете? Я думаю, что да. Вообще, типа, вообще, евреи делают очень плохие вещи. Today, November 1st, this was found in one of the Moscow suburbs. Check it out. Oops, у меня похоже проблема. Вот кто это будет оттирать, я не понимаю. And I also want you to watch this. Filmed after the airport pogroms. They aren't bearded, rough-looking men. Their children, mothers and grandmothers. Уважаемые Карачаева, Черкесии, жители, скажите, пожалуйста, почему вы собрались здесь? В чем дело? И говорите. Какие ваши? 
Мы не хотим жить по соседству с евреем. Мы не хотим, чтобы через несколько десятков лет было то же самое, что и на Палестине. Мы не хотим. Мы против. Мы увидели. Где-то убийцы. Мы увидели человечность евреев. Изначально приехав на земли Палестины, получив от них помощь. Став на ноги, они стали выживать и уничтожать это с их собственных земель. Мы не хотим потерять свою землю и свое наследие. Мы не хотим Гуда в конце концов. Мы хотим спокойную жизнь для наших детей. Пусть обитают там, где обитали. Они любят плевать тот колодец, которого пили, то же самое сделать и с нашей республикой. Мы обращаемся к нашему правительству, правительству республики с просьбой огородить нас. От того, чтобы сюда въезжали, приезжали евреи, именно евреи, палестинцев мы готовы и усыновлять. И также мы просим донести наши просьбы. Мы выкинем это в большой формат, в интернет. Владимир Владимирович, обратите внимание на Карачаева Черкесию. В Карачаево Черкесии давным-давно творится то, чему вам неведомо. Обратите внимание. Акбер! 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 Уважаемые, которые вы снимаете, мы хотим обращение дать за то, что, чтобы у нас не было вот такой же войны, как в Палестине. Мы, мы говорим, чтобы наши дети росли, они а умирали. Мы хотим, чтобы наши все православные, мы все остальные тоже жили в мире. Мы больше этого хотим. Они то, что они не нужны нам вообще и земли, чтобы не покупали здесь и не приезжали. Да, не надо нам вообще ни одного сюда еврея, который нас не понимает. Они все равно в какой-то день они как с Палестиной, так же и с нами поступят. Мы, мы за это против. Мы за Палестину хотим только мирного неба над головой наших детей. Пожалуйста, я хочу вот это обращение по всем инстанциям отправить, чтобы это у нас проходило по всем городам и по всем подсапам. The Rubicon has been crossed. They will not stop. Russian government had played with fire and it's grown out of control now. I have one question to all the Kremlin people. What are you gonna do when these peaceful Dagestanian boys come to you in Moscow, just like Wagner did, and they will start knocking on your door? Only they won't be knocking, they will be breaking the door out. Where are you gonna run? Knock knock, tick tock, knock knock, tick tock. Can you hear that in the air? Before I finish, I want everyone who's watching to know this. From now on, consider me Jewish. I stand with all the Jews, victims of violence and xenophobia in Russia. They throw rocks at you, they might be well throwing rocks at me. I stand with you. Please help us God.